Hey guys, welcome back to God of War 3. I'm just leveling up the Claws of Hades right now since it unlocks more souls, more attacks, and makes them more powerful. So yeah, why not? Okay, back to killing these soldiers in front of the gate. Kill them. Okay, so our new soul is a Chimera. Well, it's, uh, at least it's better than the lame-ass Cerberus we had back in part 11, I think it was. So yeah, Kratos is just kicking some ass with the Claws of Hades. Just one guy left, and then I can go into the city. Ah, uh, just die already. Finally. And now the light goes out and we're free to go to the city of Olympia. But first, gotta get some health, since they banged up Kratos pretty bad. And some red orbs. Okay, so Kratos opens the, that huge ass door, gets in there, some kind of cave. And there's a harpy eating someone sees Kratos and flies away. Everyone should get the hell away from Kratos when they see him coming. I mean, when you see Kratos coming, you knew you're going to die. So you have to shoot the harpy with the bow and you can then use it to fly across the gap. Okay, that didn't go exactly as I had planned. And let's use the claws to fly that thing. Purple looks better. So we made it across. Get some orbs. And here we have to do the exact same thing again. We now jump from one harpy to another. And we made it. So let's get some red orbs, and here's some blue orbs and green orbs, which I all need. And then I'll just go save my game. See where we are. Though it's probably a no-brainer again. Yeah, it's the city of Olympia. I knew that. So, here comes something exciting. Dun, dun, dun. So there's Perseus, the Titan of Fire, which Helios, which I thought Helios had killed a short while ago when we were climbing the mountain, like before the Poseidon fight. But apparently he made it back up, and he's now the last Titan alive since all the others were killed by Poseidon and Kratos killed Gaia. But Helios really should play more Pokemon. I mean, really, who uses fire attacks against something that's clearly a fire and rock type? I mean, nobody goes around using flamethrower on a freaking cargo, so... Yeah, just kill some of these soldiers right here. And then the boss appears. Or a semi-mid-level boss. It is another centaur general. So yeah, let's uh, get him. Let's spill some guts on the floor. Just use the spamming attack and the army of Sparta to do some damage. And just kill all the guys as fast as possible since he can command them to rape Kratos, which is not a pretty sight. Oh, and I send him flying. Now that's the way it's supposed to be. Just pick him up, throw him across the room. That's just awesome. So yeah, they're uh, going down pretty fast. There's only one skeleton guy left. Now there's none. So now I can take on the centaur. Uh, he shouldn't really know that attack's not gonna help him. 
I mean, every time he charges me, I just pick him up and throw him across the room. Okay, there we go. Get him on the floor. Stab him. Then get him on the floor. Okay, now he's on the floor. And... Rip him open. Hell yeah. Now, let's heal since... I think they banged me up pretty bad. Drain some of my magic too, which I need. So let's get up there and see what the hell's going... Whoa! Man, he just smashed through the entire freaking building. Feel the wrath of the sun! Wow, Helios' aim is god-awful. I'm just standing right there and still he manages to miss me. That's just freaking hilarious. So full of himself. Oh, feel the wrath of the sun and the glory of Helios. And you can't even hit freaking Kratos when he's 10 feet away. God. Okay, so now the, the Chimera appears to attack Kratos. Which is a pretty tough mini boss. It has three phases. The snake phase, lion phase, and goat phase. But, yeah, the snake's going down right now, just cut it off. And now we're in the lion phase. When he walks around on his back legs and shoots fireballs at Kratos. But yeah, that shouldn't really be a big deal since... This phase is pretty easy. And he's dead already. Stab him all over the place. Headbutt him. And then just rip his head open. And now all he's left with is the goat. Who can still shoot fireballs. And jumps all over the place. But that's what the combat grappling is for. To get close real fast. Just spam the bow. Oh man, I hate that fireball attack. Just get the claws of Hades to do the job. I need range for this one. Oh yeah, I forgot the combat grapple on claws of Hades sucks. Okay, let's get the Chimera Soul to kill the real Chimera. Ah, there he goes. Just get him down, kick him in the face. Rip his horn off and stab it through his head. Hell yeah. Now Helios is gonna get it, that freaking asshole. Pompous asshole. Duh. Okay, so Helios is taken care of. I don't think he made it out of that alive. I mean, he gets crushed by the Titan and then he gets thrown against the mountain and he explodes. Yeah, I think he's dead. Nah, he isn't. I mean, if you played the demo, you this part of the game, like with the whole Helios part, is uh, the demo of the God of War 3. And... Yeah, it kind of differs from the demo in some places. Like uh, the quote-unquote fight with Helios is pretty different. Also, what happens after you kill Helios is different from the demo. It's much more expanded and stuff. But yeah, we use the harpies to get across the gap. And there's some armor douchebags waiting for us. So yeah, let's just kill them. It's armored guys are annoying since you can't like grab them until the red circle appears above their heads. Yeah, let's just set them on fire. I haven't really done that before. And the bow of Apollo. It's like the most combat usable of the godly thingies you get. But it still sucks if you try to use it in combat. So yeah, just stick to your regular weapons. 
So the time limit's coming up. See you later.